this video is gonna be related to images that how you can insert image how you can rotate resize and crop image into your ms word software obviously ms word is a text management software but if you are creating a document or any kind of other project that needs image then ms word is capable to insert and edit image as well so we have few settings like insert rotate resize and crops that's what I'm going to teach you in this particular video. So let's get into the video without any further ado. So guys, as you can see, right now I am in my MS Word software. Now, the first step is to insert the image because if we don't insert the image, that's how we can rotate, resize and crop, right? So first we have to insert the image. So how, what is the process? Uh, process? or procedure to to insert the image for that you have to go to this insert tab and here you'll be able to see this pictures option and if you click on this drop down menu uh, kind of thing this arrow kind of thing you will be able to see two options the first one is this device and the second one is online pictures now so if you want to add your picture from internet then you have to use this option online pictures or if you have already stored the picture into your device storage then you have to use this option right so let's just start with online picture option once you click on online pictures it will be connecting to the internet as you can see here it is loading the images right so basically this option is based on bing which is the search engine by microsoft so it searches on bing and offers images for you right now if you want you can directly search it or either you can go with these categories which are available here right let's say you want to add a dog so just click on this and you'll be able to see tons of dog pictures available here right as you can see here it is loading and loading so tons of pictures are available here you just have to select any picture let's say you are selecting this puppy image and just click on insert uh, sometimes the error occurs but don't have to worry again go back to online pictures click on dogs now select anyone other or maybe just click on this image now the error is being occurred with this image only so let's select any any other image it happens sometimes uh, let's select this one right this is also cute oops it is happening with many images actually let me select anyone just random the siberian husky now as you can see the image has been downloaded and the image has been added so yeah it happens sometimes it not it's not an exception that uh, the error occurs it happens with everyone because these images are not stored in microsoft's or ms words server these images are coming from any uh, different server right that's why sometimes these error occurs now there's one more thing that if you are using these images for your personal usage or professional usage so ms word has already declared that the if there is a copyright issue or any kind of other issue related to images then you will be responsible for that if i click on this online pictures option you'll be able to see the message over here right let me just open any one of now here you'll be able to see that you are responsible for respecting others right including copyright yes although these images are creative commons only which are available to use and you will not face any uh, copyright issue but uh, microsoft has already announced to keep them in a safe side that's why otherwise if you don't want to image from the internet then you can directly go to your computer storage which is this device basically the local storage and select any image which are available into your computer let me just go to downloads and select any image which yeah let's select this one which i have downloaded right so this is the image right now it is inserted into our ms word software if you want to resize it just you can do like this right so it will be resized right uh, there are many other options i'll be telling you about those but for now if you want to just resize it so it works like this now you want to rotate it so for that you will be able to see this arrow kind of thing this circle arrow you just have to hover your mouse over here and your mouse will show one more circle arrow like this right once it shows this circle arrow you have to click the left button of your mouse and now you have to just drag your mouse like this and once you drag your mouse like this it will rotate like this so how you want to rotate let's say you want to make it in 90 degrees so you can 
leave it like this right but for now let's leave it if you want to if you don't want to do it like this then we have the simple option this rotate option and if you click on this men uh, drop down menu icon you'll be able to directly rotate the image like this right so it directly rotates like 90 degree if you want to rotate right then this option is to rotate right if you want to rotate left then this and let's say if you want to flip it like this upside upside down or if you want to flip it from left to right or right to left so this is for this right so these are for flipping and rotating option i hope you understood then we have this more rotation options so basically you get some extra advanced option over here right uh, if you click on position or maybe you just want to change the uh, rotation by degrees only let's say you just want to set it at 45 degrees so you just have to write 45 and hit the ok and it will rotate it at 45 degree i hope you understood let me go back by ctrl z now the rotation option is done we have this resizing option right also there is one more thing that if you are not able to find these settings that uh, how i have come up with these settings you just have to click on the image basically you just have to select the image then the image format settings will automatically appear in front of you right if i uh, see uh, as you can see if i click on this text the option will automatically disappear right and if i select this image option basically the image content then automatically this image customizations options are appeared in front of me right now uh, we have this resize how we can resize i've already shown you that you can just resize the image like dra uh, like dragging your cursor like this you just have to select this corner right otherwise you can select this corner as well uh, let's say you just want to increase the width of this images then you have to select this right you don't have to select the edge of your image basically the corner edge you have to select this side edge then you have to do like this you just have to stretch it and the image will be stretched like this right otherwise if you want to increase the height of this images then you can do like this so that's how this resizing works and then we have this options available as well right uh, if you don't want to do like do it like this by dragging you can just uh, do it by increasing the number from here this is basically a manual option right this is for width this is for height so once if you use this option uh, let's say you are increasing the height then width will automatically increase so that the expect ratio of your image don't get dis uh, disrupt right that's why so i hope you understood then if you want to do all the things manually then we have this small icon to go to advanced layout settings basically if you click on this you will be able to access the advanced size settings here you can set your absolute width then you can set your absolute height right and if you hit the ok button it will be resized accordingly right i hope you understood by the dragging option or the manual option now we have crop how we can crop this image so to crop the image you just have to you'll be able to see this crop button right here we do have uh, other options as well but let's start with this this and this is uh, both are same right if you click on this now you'll be able to see these edges extra edges available here so this is to allow you to crop the image right let's say you want to crop this image from here so just drag it like this now you want to crop this fr image from here as well so do it like this now you want to crop this image from here as well so drag it like this now once you are done with your cropping just hit the enter button and your image is cropped right as you can see here the image is cropped now let me press ctrl z again ctrl z so that my image can appear right now i do have uh i've just already uh, just shown you the ma uh, basic cropping option now we do have this crop to shape option let's say you want to crop this image into a heart shape so for that you have to use this crop a shape option crop to shape option right so once you hover your mouse over here just crop to shape option you will be able to see these images basically the shapes which are available for you right let's say you want to cut it down to a heart shape so just click on this and your image will be converted into a heart shape you just increase the aspect ratio basically the height so that it can look better right 
now it is looking uh, good now let me press ctrl z so that i can show you other things as well now if I, if i click again and go to any other option let's say let's select this cube option now it is turned into a cube although it is not looking that much good but yeah this is the option available for you if you want you can use it right now there are multiple options are available basically the shape options uh, you can use it whichever you want then we have this expect ratio aspect ratio is basically let's say you want to crop this image into a proper square which is one is to one ratio right so just select this option and it will be automatically apply the one is to one ratio now you have access to basically drag the image that which part you want to keep or which part you want to delete right let's say you just want to keep this part and you want to delete this part so just drag the image and hit the enter button and your image will be cropped like this right now let me press ctrl z and same goes with other options as well in aspect ratio we have this portrait option then uh, we have this landscape option right now this image is in landscape option which is 16 ratio 9 the expect ratio of your uh, this image is 16 ratio 9 basically this is the universal one right then we have this portrait option as well like uh, if i want to crop this down into 4 ratio 5 which is the instagram post portrait option i guess so if i click on this it will be cropping like this right now if i want i can drag it drag the image so that uh, which part i want i can keep that right like this now hit the enter and your image is cropped let me press ctrl z again now I've already shown you the aspect ratio. Then we have this fill option. Fill option basically fills the image from to any other uh, uh, to any area wherever you want, right? Basically, this image fill you have uh, used this option in your computer uh, wallpaper as well, right? You have seen this fill and fit option, right? So uh, let's say you have created a box and you want to fit this image into that. So you just have to click on this, and this will fit. Right. I hope you understood. So this was all about the rotate, resize, crop and uh, inserting. I hope you understood. I hope uh, you learned from this video. And if you do so, please hit that subscribe and like button. Also, if you still have any question or query, please comment down below. I'll answer those questions in the comment section itself. And I'll meet you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.